So after a few days of eating fried food and different soups and things like that, Mina and I are headed out to a fresh food market in order to get some fruits, different vegetables. Garlic, shallots, curry powder. You can make something pretty good. It looks like we are definitely getting closer to where we're trying to go. We are at Or Tour Core Market. We just got a little bit of food. A really fire pad thai. Mina's finishing up her pork dish and this we're gonna go take a walk around. Just finished up our lunch. That was actually really, really good. I highly recommend anybody come here. Vegetables were a 10 out of 10 and the pad thai was a nine and a half out of 10. Highly recommend it. Wasn't your typical pad thai either. It was wrapped in an egg that was super thin. It was beautiful. That was really good. Now that we are all fed, we're gonna attempt to grocery shop, bring home some like actual fresh produce so that we can get some veggies in our diet. What is it? I like skinny mini eggplants. Baby eggplants? Yeah. They look yummy. Garlic? Garlic. Mint cilantro together. Pretty yummy. You can add some chili to it and like make a little sauce or something. green onion, some chili peppers. I'm not actually sure what kind of chili peppers they are. They're like this bright green, but... Oh, of course not. I was hoping to get something a little more mild. <laughs> we'll see how it is. What kind of sauce do you want? That's a good question. I have to take a look first. Look at all these oranges. Absolutely crazy. You ever seen so many oranges in one place? These like, I got grapefruit. I have no idea what these are. Never, never knew. Probably never will know. Yeah, I got, um, a, actually got a curry powder, not a sauce. You got a curry powder? Yes. What are you gonna do with that curry powder? We'll see. We'll make it work. I feel like garlic, shallots, curry powder. We can make something pretty good. Is that how you make a curry? This aisle is crazy. Every type of shrimp, fish, even the biggest squid I've ever seen are in this ice bath here. It is wild. Look at all this. Absolutely crazy. You gotta come down here. Classically lost Mina in here somewhere, so now I have to locate her. Wish me luck, this place is huge. That is actually crazy, I almost immediately found her. Reunited.
You ever seen one of those flat boys on TV? Right there. I got a huge fruit haul. These were a little pricey. These were almost 600 baht. So that's like nearly $20 for this bad boy. So that caught me a little bit off guard. Five, six avocados for 200 baht. That's a pretty good deal, about $6. Pretty cheap compared to what it would cost back at home for all those. And then this bad boy, this might be the best deal of them all. These aren't bananas. They're like those miniature bananas. Not a, no idea what they're called. And this was only 30 baht for like, there's like 20 bananas here. So that's a pretty good deal. It's pretty hot in here. We've got all this produce. We're gonna try and head back, but baby got a little coconut because she was getting overheated, which is fair. I'm probably gonna have some too. Coconut. She got the coconut from this place right here. Or Torcor Market has everything you could want. They have fresh cooked food, they have fresh produce, they have live seafood in the back. If you need anything, I highly recommend you come on down here. This has really been a great experience. It kind of varies in between local and touristy. I think there's a little bit of everything here. Yeah, there's a lot to choose from here. This market's super clean and like very well kept. Everyone was super friendly too. Yeah, this is a great place to stop by if you need to do some grocery shopping.